And the Buffaloes will kick it away first. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. On first down, here comes this offense. Missed receiver there, it's incomplete. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly, do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, I gotta get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on, and I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. And the decibel level starting to increase here on this early third and ten. To the air, it's Jefferson. Gonna take a shot at this DB. Already oh, toast the coverage, got it deep downfield. All kinds of running room. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Bobcats. And what nice play design. You get your speedster, you put them in the slot, you usually get a better matchup. And then what do you do? You fade him towards that sideline, run a go. Nice ball thrown way out wide. He just runs underneath it and just too much speed. Couldn't catch him. Gets in the end zone for six. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap it off with a play that can build momentum, a 78-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it back looking for help. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. First down for the offense. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Ran to that daylight to pick up six to the 22. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Keep it on the ground. Brought down at the 27. It's a five-yard pickup on the play. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Now on first and 10 from the 27. Wide out in motion. Looking to go up top on first down. Finds his man. It's Williams. Yeah, and listen, I'm going to move this guy everywhere. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double-team him, put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wide out. It's caught downfield. Flying out to the left. Touchdown, Bucks. And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. Ready to try the point after. Right down the middle. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with some flair, a 73-yard touchdown pass. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. 
Coming out with it, it's Restrepo. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Texas State has the football back, and they'll go on offense. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Caught in the backfield, it's Davis. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. And now on second down for this offense. They're trying to get to it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. And the Bobcats send out the punt unit. They'll look to pin him deep. Looking everywhere for room to run, but really good coverage, and he'll step out of bounds. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop, and now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. They've changed ends of the field, now facing third down as they go back to work. From the gun, wants to pass. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Talk about aggressive. This head coach is keeping the offense on the field inside his own 30. On fourth down, going to the air. Makes the catch. He's got enough. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. You need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Timber. 42. Trying play action. Now adjusting. He gets rid of it, but I don't think they're going to let him get away with that. Nope, here comes the flag. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. He'll just keep slinging it. They're bringing heat. 
They get to him as he throws. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and forced the incompletion. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Texas State gets the football back, and here comes the offense. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. This offense has a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Jefferson. They're working that left side. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. That's a great example of this quarterback having intense confidence in his own arm talent. That was not an easy window to throw into, but he had the ability, and he knew it. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. After picking up the first down, they still have to move quickly here. Switch it, switch it. They're going to ride this running back. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stopped. The Bobcats will hustle to the line. They'll run it on first and goal. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the D deny them on second and goal. Now on the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. You can't afford to squander these opportunities once you get into the red zone. Twice they've been denied. Here's third and goal. Quick strike complete. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcat. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So they covered 42 yards on the drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. it'll come out to the 25 no attempt at a return Got it. Colorado has the ball back and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up, 
and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. You hear about shot plays all the time. Offensive coordinators love to take deep shots down the field. They plan them. They plan when they're going to do them. And I bet you will plan to see a few more throughout this game. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Skips away from pressure. Trying to escape and get it himself. He was able to squirt free and pick up just a few on that one. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to fire deep. Makes the catch and a huge play on the left side. And he'll go down, but not before the big pickup and the first down. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. And what a throw to get it in there. And they've got it in business in the red zone at the 13. This slot receiver gives defensive coordinators nightmares. You have got to double him virtually on every pass play. He better have safety help over top. Otherwise, this guy's a threat to score every time they throw the ball. Catch in the middle. It's Bernard. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Looking to throw on second down. And the defense wraps up the first half by taking it to the quarterback and getting the sack. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the Bobcats will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. He's going to pass. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drop. So they'll try to make up some of that ground on second down from the 16. He's looking to throw. What a snag by the defense. Got room on the return. Well, what a game-changing play by this defense. Nice job. You got them backed up in their own territory coming out. Now you force the turnover, set your offense up with some great scoring field position. Texas State has the football back, and they'll go on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here on this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Single back formation, and they give it to it. Pushes and picks his way ahead for six yards. He's down at the eight. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. They go to the ground. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. And they just kind of sneaked that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Yeah, and I, and I love running the football down the red zone. You've got to be able to do it. First down, obviously, is the right down to do. But now, then it's the options a little bit more. Second down after that loss of yards play. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Texas State. Yeah, and you failed on first and second, but on third down, you give it to the big fullback, and he does the rest. Lower the shoulder, lower the pads, run physical, and get in that end zone. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So that scoring drive took only six plays and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. After scoring that touchdown, they'll try to get it right back with an onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. And everybody's got different philosophies. Some people kick onsides every single time. You go for the big play, try to create some momentum for your team, but they failed. A nice job covering the kick, seeing the football off the kicker's foot, securing it, getting on the ground, and making sure your offense retains the football. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. That's another example of just really good football. This is why they built the lead here in the second half. Nice job pressuring the quarterback, making him feel uncomfortable, coming into somebody else's building and keeping it really, really quiet. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And he makes the catch at the 10. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. They ripped off a huge chunk, and now a little chunk is needed to pay it off. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Man, this quarterback is living dangerously right now. Obviously, he threw a pick on the last drive. He's trying to complete that throw, but the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh-no. That is an oh-no situation. They're lucky that one hit the ground. DB's right up on the receivers. On second down, he'll let it fly. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Well, the defense is making some big plays here right up against their own goal line. They forced two straight incompletions. Now setting up third down. You're expecting pass again. Is this a situation where they're going to want to blitz, or do they stay back, play zone, and try to break on the ball? He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it out. It's Lacey. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Texas State gets the football back, and here comes the offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. To the ground. He's got it again. Smashes through. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down.
When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. They'll start the drive here with first down to open this period. Smart move to keep it on the ground. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense doing their job getting that last stop, and now third in California. Not a lot of play calls to convert this, so defensively, let's get off the field now. The clock's running. We need to give it back to our offense with as much time as possible. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Pressure coming. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. The Bobcats will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. To the air on first down. He's got the back in the middle. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. He'll come out throwing on first down. Unloads it left. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. Running inside the 20. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Texas State! Man, what a play by this defense. You're trying to get the ball back to your offense, trying to salt this game away and get the win. Not only do you create the turnover, you get the touchdown. Now you take a two-score lead late in this ball game. This defense just stepped up in a big moment. They'll try to add another to their lead. The fake. Kicker's going to run for it. He'll run into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and the trickery pays off. Now they'll try to get another possession with an onside kick. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong. Unleashes one deep. He was open. He had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. 
Well, the defense didn't get caught napping there. In this situation, you know they have to stay alert for the deep ball. Yeah, so what defense am I going to call? I'm going to keep some DBs back deep. I'm going to keep my safety a little bit deeper, understanding they're down. They're going to have to attack down the field. I'm going to stick to my pack. A shot for the end zone. And he throws another interception, his third of the night. Nice job by this defense. That Thank you. 